Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to your 15th tutorial in the Intermediate Algebra playlist. In this tutorial I'm going to be discussing order of operations. So when we have an algebraic expression to evaluate, um, it's important to know what order to solve an expression in. So the first thing we want to do in solving an algebraic expressions is solve all the math in the grouping mechanisms. So common grouping mechanisms are parentheses, brackets, and curly braces. So once we've done all the math inside these things, then we solve any exponents and roots that we may have. And once those are done, we multiply and divide. And after multiplication and division, we add and subtract. And if there's any ambiguity along the way, we simply solve left to right. So what do I mean by step five here? Well, basically what I mean by that is if we had something like eight times five divided by three, well, this is multiplication, this is division, and multiply and divide are both priority three on my list here. So which one do we do first? Well, since they both have the same priority, then we fall down to number five here, and we do left to right. So this is going to be eight times five is 40, and then that result divided by three gives us the fraction 40 over three. So let's do a couple examples here. Let's say that we have 19 minus 2 times 5. Well, we have a subtraction. We have a multiplication. So multiplication and division comes before addition and subtraction. So we do the multiplication first. So this becomes 19 minus 2 times 5. And 2 times 5 is equal to 10. So now we have 19 minus 10, which is simply 9. So that's our answer. So what if we had some sort of grouping mechanism in here? What if we had 19 minus 2, and then that result multiplied by 5? Well, then we would approach this a little bit different, since we do the grouping first. So everything inside the grouping, 19 minus 2 gives us 17. And then we multiply that result times the 5. And if you were to work this out, 17 times 5 is equal to 85. So as you can see here, the parentheses play a really important role in how this type of expression is solved. So let's move on to another example here. This time we're going to put a bunch of stuff in here. We're going to do 2 to the 4th, and that's going to be multiplied by 9 minus 8 divided by 2, all inside parentheses. And then we're going to add that to the square root of 64, and divide by 2. So this time we're looking at number 1 on our list here. We have a grouping mechanism. We have parentheses here. So we're going to do everything inside this grouping mechanism before we do anything else. So inside this grouping mechanism we have a subtraction and we have a division. Well division is number 3 and subtraction is number 4. So we do the lower number first. So the lower number is 3 so we divide. 8 divided by 2 gives us 4, so we're going to do 9 minus 4 now, because 8 divided by 2 is 4, and we're just going to rewrite everything else in this expression. So now we finish what we started in the grouping. 9 minus 4 gives us 5, and we don't need the parentheses anymore since we're done evaluating the grouping mechanism here. So that's 5 times 2 to the 4th, plus square root 64 divided by 2. So now we have multiplication, we have addition, we have division, we have a root, and we have an exponent. So of all those things, exponents and roots come first. So going left to right now, we evaluate 2 to the 4th power. And remember, 2 to the 4th is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 multiplied by itself 4 times, there's 4 of them. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, whoops, 16, so 2 to the 4th is equal to 16, so then we have 16 times 5 plus, now we get to our root, square root of 64 is equal to 8 divided by 2, and the square root of 64, the reason why that's equal to 8 is because 64 is equal to 8 squared, and when you have something squared underneath the square root, the square root and the square cancel, giving you the base right here. So 
So now if you were to work this out, 16 times 5 gives us 80. We're doing the multiplication and division first now because that becomes before addition. So this becomes 80. We write down the addition and then we do the division next since it's higher priority than the addition. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And adding the 80 plus the 4 gives us the result 84. So anyway, that's how you do order of operations. Just uh, follow the priority list here and uh, solve accordingly. So anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials in the Intermediate Algebra playlist. And you guys have a great day, and don't forget to subscribe.